Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5065789 on your Windows 11 computer with version 25H2. Now, the first step is to run these commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow and then copy the first command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan, the scan will take some time. And once the scan is 100% complete, run the second command. So copy the second command, paste it on the same window. Once the second scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, the next step is to pause and restart the update. Now for this, you can go to Windows Update and then click on pause over here. If you see retry option, hit retry and then check if that does not work, click on pause. And once it is paused, now hit resume updates and then you can check. Still not working, start these services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list, scroll down. Here you can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update. Set the startup type to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows update and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. Click on OK, now make a right click and then click on restart. Now find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness. Again, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, click on OK, again make a right click and then click on restart. Now once this is done, now you can go to Windows update and then try to update. Still not updating, the next step is to use Microsoft update catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, write down the name of the update that is KB5065789. And then click on search. So it's for Windows 11 version 25H2. So you can W-I-N-V-E-R type in WinWar and then click on WinWar over here. So in my case, it's version 25H2. And you can check what kind of system you have. You can go to system in Windows settings and then scroll down. Click on about option and then here you can see 64 bit operating system. So you have to, for me it's Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 based system. Click on download and then on this page click on KB5065789 and let the download complete. Once the download is complete you can click on this file, follow the on screen instruction and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. Now for this, you can open Windows Settings. Go to Windows Date, Advanced Option, Recovery. Here you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on Reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once done, you can check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can go to this Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then you can run this exe file. Now once you run this exe file, click on accept over here. And then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file over here. And then click on next. And you can save it to desktop. Save and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once the download is complete, click on finish. Let this close automatically and then go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file. Make a double click on setup file, run the setup file. Click on yes to allow. And then click on next, accept. Now here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. After the installation, log into the computer and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you
to install this update successfully on your Windows 11 version 25H2. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.